Today we're going to compare fractions using fraction strips and this is kind of a really fun lesson because it gets you using your hands and doing hands-on things. Our objective for today is after watching today's lesson you will create fraction slips to put fractions in order from smallest to greatest or you could also put them in order from greatest to smallest but we're going to concentrate on the smallest to greatest aspect. So we are going to look at these fraction strips here and we're going to just look at all of these and compare things. So if this this top one represents one whole and if we take the top one and divide it in half we would have one half over here and two halves here or another half and all together it would equal one whole. So one half is less than one whole. But if we looked at this whole thing, these two are equal. The next one, I divided it into fourths. So we have one fourth, this is another fourth, but we could say it's two fourths, these two. Three fourths are all of these three, and four fourths. So four fourths equals the same as two out of two, which is the same as a whole. Or another way I could have labeled this is one fourth another fourth, another one-fourth, and another one-fourth. So if I said to you, which is bigger, two-fourths or one-half, hopefully you would look at it and go, well, the, there are two-fourths here, and there's a half here, and these two are equal. Or if I said, which one is bigger, one-half or three-fourths, visually you can see that one-half is less than three-fourths. Let's look at the next one. This one I could have had I could have labeled it one-eighth, another one-eighth, 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 one-eighth. But instead I did one-eighth, two-eighths, three-eighths, four-eighths, five-eighths, up to eight-eighths. Same, I divided this into six. It starts at one six, it ends up at six six, or this is a whole. This one I divided into fifths, and if I look at this, five fifths is the same as a whole. So five fifths, six six, and eight eighths, they're all a whole, so they are all equal to each other. So if I said, which is bigger, one eighth, or two sixth, you would look at it and say, well, is this bigger or is this bigger? And just by looking at it, you would know that two sixth is bigger than one eighth. If I said, which is bigger, one fifth or three sixth, I would look at it. I'm looking at this. This one, I'm looking at all of these. One fifth is smaller than three sixths. Now, if if I were just asking you in your head, it might be a little bit harder to visualize. That's why the fraction fraction strips are so great. If I said, "What is bigger, three sixths or three fifths?" Well, here we're looking at it, and three fifths is larger than three sixths. Now if you want to pause it just to kind of get an idea of what's going on, you can and you can just ask yourself some different questions and just really study this a little bit. And when you're ready, you can go to the next, um, or play it and, and I'll go to the next screen. Now, using the above fraction strips, put these fractions in order from least to greatest. Okay, so here's what I'm asking, and here's what you're going to look at. So, I'm going to look at it, and it says right here, this is half, this is a third, so I know a third is less than that, this is a fourth, this one right here is a fourth, then we have three-fourths, and then we have two-thirds. So. I'm going to put it in order. I want you to pause the video and I want you to write down it from least to greatest what the order would be and then come back when you're done. 
All right, welcome back. Now, the, I'm going to make sure I'm doing this correctly by crossing it out as we go. And then I'm going to look. Okay, so I've done the one fourth. I'm going to cross that off. Then I'm looking at one half, one third, three fourths, and two thirds. So in the next one, I'm going to put my comma. The next one is going to be one third. Is that what you have on your paper? This is a little harder to write with. And then I have, and I'm going to put my X through here. Then I have one half, three fourths, or two thirds. So next I'm going to put one half. Oopsie. Oops, I'm, I suppose it's going to be a little bit harder for me to do now. Seems like every video I get a, a little challenge. One half. Then I'm going to do two thirds because two thirds is less than three fourths. Two thirds. And then did you end yours with? Oops, crossed off the wrong one. Two thirds. And the last one is three fourths. So hopefully, this is what you came up with. If not, I want you to look at yours and see what you did wrong. Okay, let's move to the next screen. Now, I'm going to have you make fraction strips and divide them into fifths. So you can draw it and if you want you can fold it or you can um, approximately do it. And this is a little harder for me to do drawing. I, I like to do it folded but that's not an option with this. Okay so you're going to get draw two rectangles and then you can fold them or draw. And the first one into fifths, I'm going to it's going to be a little harder for me. There's one fifth, two fifths, three fifths. Okay, and then going to label it one fifth. Hopefully, you did the same. Two fifths. Whoops, here we go. Getting crazy again. Two fifths. Three fifths, four fifths, and five fifths, or five fifths is the same as what? You got it, it's the same as one. And this one, we're going to divide it in fourths, so I'm going to go right in the middle, kind of, and then divide this into two and this into two. So one fourth. Oh dear. Oh dear. <gasps> oh, what did I do? Um. Mm -hmm -hmm. Undo delete. How about that? Oh, let's see. Every lesson it has to be something kind of goofy. One fourth. Two fourths. Three fourths. I'm almost nervous to write because I'm afraid it's going to disappear. Four fours or one whole. So if I put them in order, I'm looking at one fourth, one fifth, three fourths, and three fifths. So putting them in order from smallest to largest, it would be one fourth. And then, uh-oh, actually one-fifth would come first. Hopefully you caught that. So we have one-fifth, one-fourth, then we have three-fifths, and three-fourths. Do you agree? Hopefully you do. Now we're going to move to the next page. Let's see what I have here. You're going to um, 
Make some fra fraction strips. Divide the first one into half. One half. This would be two over two. And you got it. That equals one. Ooh, I'm getting kind of loopy here with my writing. And the next one, you're going to divide it into thirds. So we have here and here. So we have one third, two thirds, three thirds. What does that equal? Say it with me. It equals one whole. Putting it in order, I'm not going to write it this time because I'm not that great at it. This is the, the smallest, one third. After one third, and I'm going to compare them. Hmm. One half comes next. And then two thirds. And last but not least, one whole. Hopefully, you've got it. Okay. Now, I want you to put these words into your notebook, into the vocabulary section. Um, it might be in there. I can't remember if we put these in here or not. If, if you have, then great. You've done it. But if not, let's write it down. So you have, you'll have to pause if you need to. The numerator is the top number of the fraction. So in this case, the numerator for 1 fourth would be the 1. And I want you to use this as an example as well. And the denominator is the bottom number of the fraction. So with 1 fourth, it is the 4. Okay? Put that in there. And then it's quiz time. So um, I've linked it to the um, assignment, so you can do that. Answer the following questions and write down, um, click the letter that belongs to it, and then remember at the end, um, write down how comfortable you are with this concept of ordering fractions using fraction strips. And also write down any questions that you have. And that's it for now. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thanks for listening. Bye. Oops, I want to make sure that you got this. See you tomorrow.